The well of souls is where all life begins. Where the souls of the dead are born into their new lives. I killed the beast that haunted this place. I freed the souls of humanity. And in other times, that would be enough. But something draws power from the well, leaving only void where there once was life. I fear you have only released the souls into further torment. Then there is no hope. Humanity is lost. Not so. Even now, you carry with you the power to restore the well. The Nephilim? If you sacrifice their souls, yes. They alone have the power to undo what was done. So I must sacrifice the Nephilim, my kin to restore mankind. The Nephilim are dead, by your own hand. That broken talisman is all that remains. Would you leave them to eternal torment in that cage upon your chest? Place for a horse. <gasps> 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 Not so fast, horseman. You're following me. So I am. I will remain here, at the tree, should you have need of me on your quest. <laughs> and dust has a beak for more than corpses, horseman. Follow him, and you will find the key. Follow dust, find the key? Can't be that easy, cruel father. You may be right, Death. The future is a secret even I cannot keep. Hmm. <gasps> 
I don't recognize this place. Where have you taken me? This place is called Lost Light. It is an outpost, far beyond the gates of heaven. And it is here that the angels have hidden the key to the Well of Souls. Why here? Why not the White City? There are some amongst the angels who would use the key for their own purpose. So it was hidden here to safeguard it from their schemes. Or so they hoped. The well has power over all life. It does. Though I suspect there is more to your question. Go on, Ryder. Ask it. The four never knew of the well. Why was it kept from us? For fear of what you may have done with that knowledge. The Nephilim could not be allowed to ravage creation any longer. They needed to stay dead. Then the well can bring them back. And so we get to the root of it. Yes, the well is the fount of all life. Angel, demon, mankind, even Nephilim. But from their blades they wrought chaos. And from that was born corruption. You were right to destroy them. Abaddon's eye. It is you. To me, quickly. Come <laughs> on. 
Welcome to Lost Light Rider. From one warrior to another. Do I know you? I am Nathaniel. I fought beside you at the Gates of Eden. Would have died were it not for your blades. But I'm not troubled that you don't recall me. Your thoughts that day were on killing Nephilim. You're of the Hell God. I was. But I guard the light now. And the Archon. You'll find both in the Crystal Spire. But something tells me you are not here to glory in my master's radiance. What gave that away? The Archon's that way, horseman. Perhaps I have other business. If that business takes you to the kingdom of the dead, you would serve the light to deliver this scroll. What business have you in that land of corpses? I seek an old friend. A lost soul. Where better to look? Take that scroll to the undead court, that they may answer my question. I'm looking for a key. I would guess that what you seek is no simple key. For that, you should consult the Archon. He sees much from the peak of his spire. How did you come to leave the Hellguard? Abaddon sent me here to watch over the Crystal Spire and the Archon. There is much at stake should the Spire fall. What is this place? An outpost. We call it Lost Light, for what we left behind in the White City. Here, we are closer to darkness. And who is this Archon? Lucian is the head of the Scriptorium. Those angels who record all that he sees when he peers into the shadow. The Ivory Citadel holds their records. An archive vast beyond thinking. Where is this citadel? Lost beyond the mists. Pray your business never sends you there. I have everything an angel needs. As for you. Battleborn, bloodstained and forgotten. <laughs> like me. Stained and forgotten. <laughs> the money is yours. Battleborn blood. yours. Battleborn, bloodstained and forgotten. <laughs> like me.